Creating AAA game assets often involves creating the same asset twice. First, a representation is created using sculpting or subdivision modeling techniques. Many details are included in this high polygon version of the asset for organic assets. This could be details like scales on a gecko. For hard surface type meshes, this could be individual wires, buttons, or other details. Creating the high polygon version of the asset is typically considered to be the fun part. The artist can be creative, and the process doesn't take that long. However, due to all the fine details, this version of the asset typically has a very high polygon count, so it's not suitable for real-time rendering. As the asset cannot be rendered in real-time as is, it needs to be recreated with a polygon count that is actually suitable for real-time rendering. Once the low polygon geometry has been retopologized and UVs have been created, the high polygon shading details will be transferred onto the low polygon mesh in the bake process. While the high polygon version can be created in a matter of hours, it's typically the low polygon version that can take much longer until it's ready for rendering. With Insulon, large parts of the process can be automated and completed in a fraction of the time it takes when doing the retopology manually. In this video, we're going to focus on using Insulot's powerful and fast polygon optimization technology. In later videos, we'll focus on using Insulot's remesher to create high-quality, game-ready assets from scan data, photogrammetry, subdivision, and sculpted models, all at the push of a button. The first asset that we're going to look at and creating a new low poly model for it is this crate. And this crate is almost a million polygons. So the process of automated retopology for this crate is going to be very similar to the process that we used on the CAD data for the car hood. Now, the thing to notice is that this is made out of multiple objects, and this is a very dense subdivided model. And that's the subdivided models is what we're going to look at in this video. So you can see that there's a lot of uh, extra edges uh, that were put in for the smoothing and so it's very dense mesh and what we first want to consider when we optimize our meshes is uh, do we need to consider the textures do we have UVs so let's take a look at this see if we have some UVs normally your high poly data is not going to have UVs so this one does not have any UVs and if it does have any UVs they're not usable so the first thing that we're going to do is tell Instalot to ignore any of the UVs when it considers how to create this uh, new low polygon model for us. So we're going to set that to off. And the next thing to do is for subdivision models um, that are very high poly, uh, we can always try out, and the best bet is to try out 1%. So we're going to try out and start out at 1% percent triangles, and we can always go down or up from there. So this can be our first guess. And if it's good, great. And if it's not, we can try a few more things. So I'm going to select the entire crate. Um, and you know what? Let's take out these bolts. So when we're optimizing, uh, even if we have the entire group selected, anything hidden inside this group will be ignored. So for the bolts, for example, could be baked down into a normal map um, uh, later on. And that goes the same for all of these as well, but we're going to take a look at how these optimize. So go ahead and select the entire crate and we have textures important set to off and our percent triangles to one. And we're just going to go down here and hit optimize selected meshes. Now this mesh is a million triangles, so it is going to take a minute or two um, for this to optimize down. And it is very fast and you can see that I can still use Maya while it goes um, Async or city behind the scenes while Insulot is processing the mesh. So let's go ahead and pause this and let this finish for the next minute or two, and then we'll come back. So now the optimization is finished, and we can compare the two objects next to each other. So I'm going to pull the newly optimized uh, low poly down to the side here, and what you can see is now that we're, we're at 9,700 triangles, and where we were before was 970,000 triangles. So down from almost a million to 9,000 triangles. And you can see that all of the bevels were retained and there are big flat areas of the model that now have big flat polygons uh, and, and don't have a lot of extra geometry that's not being used. And if you compare these side by side, you can see that the shading is retained very closely and almost hard to tell the difference between the one with a million triangles and the one with 9,000 triangles. So a nice optimization done here between the two. 
And you can also notice that the hidden um, bolts that we had, hidden bolts here, were ignored in our new group here. So anything hidden was ignored when it did the optimization for the new mesh. So the last thing that we need to do for this mesh is create the UVs. And that is very easy to do. We just go over to the UV tab. We select the strategy that we want to use. And then we just hit on wrap selected meshes. And we'll get a new mesh that we can then move to the side and look at the UVs. So this mesh has all been UV'd very nicely and cleanly. And everything is very, very clean on this mesh in only a sh few short minutes, down from a million. So let's take a look at a few more assets. So for the next asset, let's take a look at this generator. This generator is very, very complicated with a lot of pieces and a lot of little extra pieces all on top of each other. And we've also introduced some sculpted areas as well. So you can see that there's dents sculpted in and, and put into this mesh as long, and also a uh, negative space in between these. Everything is very, very detailed with thousands of polygons all set up for all of these clean bevels. So everything is nice and high poly looking with the rounded clean edges. And this, this is something that'd be very, very difficult and time consuming to uh, retopologize on your own by hand. Uh, rebuilding these pieces or even removing edges to get back down to a very simple version. There's just a lot going on here and a lot of different pieces. So let's go through the same process and go back over to the optimize tab and we're going to go to 1% triangles and set the textures, texture importance to off since we don't have UVs. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit optimize selected meshes here with the generator selected. Now you can see that the output log will start to go. So right now it's exporting the geometry and soon we'll be able to uh, take a look at some other parts in here inside of Maya while Instalot works in the background. So again, this model is now 3 million triangles. So you can see it's 3.3 million triangles and it's going to process all of this and we're going to take a look at it while it does some of that. Now there are pieces here that we we could hide and we're just going to leave them on for now so a lot of these pieces could be hidden and then baked right into a normal map later on. So we have lots of little bolts and panels and brackets uh, all around on this asset that we could then bake later if we wanted to but we'll go ahead and take a look at them and see what we get out of the optimized optimized version here so again lots of high poly edges and sculpted details and very detailed meshes all the way around so you can see that it starts one at one percent and again this one's three million triangles so it's going to take a few minutes uh, to get through so we'll just go ahead and, and stop the video and come back when it's finished in uh, about uh, two or three minutes here. So what you can see here right in the output log is that we just finished optimize this and it took 129 seconds to complete. So just over two minutes to complete this entire optimization of a 3.3 million polygon object. So let's go ahead and take a look at these side by side again. So I'm gonna move this over and now we can look at the two side by side and so many, so many different pieces and such a high polygon object. So this one here, the new one that we just optimized is now 33,000 triangles down from 3.3 million. Again, that's, that's to that 1%. And what you can see is that all of these bevels were retained and done very intelligently. Um, you could model them by hand at this, just like this. And this would be, uh, uh, you know, what you would expect if you were to model this by hand. So lots of details retained um, and very, very clean and optimized all the way around. And you can see that the interiors are still there and withheld very nicely and cleanly. 
And also another thing to look at is the sculpted detail. So the sculpted detail right there, you can see that it still looks very, very similar and almost exactly the same as the very, very high poly version. So we have some dents on the side here that were over here as well. So it retained all of that sculpted detail on our new uh, low poly retopologized model here. So lots of lots of detail. And if we look at this by itself, you can see that these under areas under the bigger panels uh, were reduced to just a big flat triangle here because there was no detail that needed to be retained. And on the other side, we did have a little bit of a some dents here that did get picked up. So we did pick those up and optimize those down and retain the shading. And we can also look at some of the pieces up top here. You can see even around here, uh, these corners here, ins and outs, were retained and the bevels retained and the shading was retained as well. So everything looks good here. And like I said earlier, if we wanted to go lower, we can just go lower now. If we wanted to say 1% wasn't low enough, it didn't hit our target mark, we can go ahead and select absolute triangles and hit 15 thousand triangles so we'll go go down a little bit more more than 50 percent here and again our texture importance is set to off because we don't we aren't uh, worrying about uvs right now we'll create them in a few minutes here right after we optimize this so i'm just going to hit optimize selected and we're going to go from the 33,000 down to 15,000. so very quickly we can see the three by them uh, side by side here. So 3.3 million, 33,000, and down to 15,000 here. And everything was retained very, very nicely in this mesh, all the way down to these small bevels and in the feet here. So again, we can just unwrap this really quickly. So I'll just select this mesh here. We'll group it and move it out and go over to the UV tab and just hit on, on wrap selected meshes. And again, we're using the on wrap strategy for the hard surface. And we can go ahead that move that over and take a look at this. So now we have UVs for this mesh as well. And done in only under a few minutes all the way from 3.3 million polygons down to 15,000 with an on-wrap mesh. So let's take a look at one more asset that we can optimize and create a new low poly for. So the last asset that we're going to take a look at is this sign. And what's unique about this sign is that it does have a lot of these um, little dots here for the lights and one of the other things is it has a good mix of both very high res geometry and very low res geometry just for occluded areas for flat big flat walls uh, here so we can take a look at how Instalod is going to optimize this down and retain everything so with this sign the first thing that we're going to do is consider what we do want to optimize and keep in here and there are a lot of uh, little lights here and those could very easily be baked into a normal map which they probably should be and you can see just the lights selected are um, 800,000 triangles just for these these little lights here so we'll hide those and we'll select the sign and let's take a look and see if there's anywhere else um, so on these buttons we do have the numbers and we have some small bolts so we could take these and hide these so that uh, they aren't considering the optimization and they won't end up in the low poly and we could just bake them later. Same with these details here if we wanted to hide those and just bake those or these bolts but we'll take a look and see what this optimizes down to for these bolts and take a look at them after. So again we'll just head over to optimize and we're going to use percent triangles so we'll set it to one and we're ignoring all of the uh, UVs, which it probably doesn't have. And like we said, if we, it does have them, they're probably pretty messy. So unusable, and we don't want Instalod to consider those as something that we want it to retain. So we'll just set that to off. So we'll go ahead and select the sign. 
we have some hidden pieces that will get ignored and we can hit optimize selected meshes. And this mesh here is right about almost a million triangles. So again, this should probably take uh, about a minute or so to finish the entire optimization and give us a brand new low poly mesh that we could use in whatever application that we want to. All right, we finished and from the time that I stopped the video, it took uh, 37 seconds to finish out the rest of this. So let's just group this and move it off to the side so we can compare the two side by side. And everything looks really, really nice. All the shading is intact and matches really, really well. And we can take a look at some of these bolts. So some of these bolts did get uh, optimized pretty far down, but they do match pretty well. These were just some round discs here. And we can take a look at the bolts on the back as well. And so they, these did optimize pretty nicely and retained a lot of their shape. And so they're very usable. And we have the vents here. And if we take a look at these buttons, these buttons went down from a very dense mesh and, and basically look like a box that you've beveled, just like you would do it by hand. So let's take a look at these. And so very dense mesh with all these extra polygons around these corners for the beveled smooth corners uh, on the buttons. But again, taking a look at these things, they came out very, very clean. And all around everything looks nice. And one of the other things that I did point out was this bottom mesh here that was very, very low poly. And if we compare the two side by side, one of the things to note is that we did optimize down to 1%. But Instalod uh, intelligently picks objects uh, based on the global optimization to optimize more than others. So it didn't want to optimize this down and start to lose the silhouette or the shape that we really want to retain. So we can see that we went down from 130 to 40 triangles. So about 30% here and a little bit more than 30%. And everything was retained. That way we still have a very good mesh intact here that we can use. So the last step is just to add UVs. So we're going to go ahead and select this sign and we have it grouped out and we're going to UV it. So again, very quickly over to the UV tab, I just hit on wrap selected meshes and we have a fully unwrapped model. As you can see, Instalot is extremely well suited to automatically retopologize subdiv model assets. And in the next section, we'll also look at how we can use the remesher to bring these assets into a game just at the push of a button.